The Syrian splinter group of Al Qaeda has reportedly joined forces with ISIL militants in Iraq as the country faces being redrawn along sectarian lines there. For more on this story, Paul is joining us from the News Center. Paul, what's the significance of this new alliance between these two extremist groups? Well, it deals another heavy blow to Iraqi security forces who are attempting to take back most of the country's northwest from Sunni rebels led by the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, or ISIL. It's also significant as it opens the way for ISIL to take control of both sides of the border near the town of al Qaim, which has been the launching point of major offensives. The Iraqi government is now left to defend the central and southern regions, while the Kurds are holding their own in the northeast. In the latest fighting, Iraqi army soldiers clashed with insurgents just west of the capital, Baghdad, on Tuesday, killing a number of militants and destroying their vehicles. This is the Ibrahim bin Ali area that we liberated from ISIL, and God willing, we will enter Fallujah and liberate it for the sake and security of the Iraqis. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has urged leaders of the semi-autonomous Kurdish region to stay and help unite Iraq against the insurgency. However, during his final round of diplomacy on Tuesday, Kerry was told by Kurdish President Masoud Barsani that the insurgency had already created a new reality and a new Iraq, hinting that the Kurds could take this opportunity to seek their long-sought goal of becoming independent of Baghdad.